So with summer right around the corner, there is one dish that's on most people's minds, and that is potato salad. You gotta say when it comes to summer, there's nothing better than a delicious potato salad. Anyways, with that being said, today I'm gonna show you how to make a Spanish peasant's potato salad. This is known here in Spain as una ensalada de patatas campesina. It's a dish that dates back to the early 17th century, created by Spanish peasants that grew their own ingredients in the land, which made making dishes like this easily accessible and very affordable, folks. This potato salad has the most amazing flavors to it. It's very easy to make, and it's made with the most simple ingredients. Let's begin by grabbing three medium-sized new potatoes and scrubbing them clean under some cold running water. Now, when I'm making this potato salad, I like to leave the skins on the potato as it brings out a new dimension of flavor. But if you prefer, you can peel the potatoes. Once the potatoes have been cleaned, I'm gonna pat them completely dry. Now, even though we're gonna add these potatoes back into some water, I always like to pat them dry. That way, when you cut them, they're not slippery, which can cause an accident. For the next step, let's start cutting our potatoes. I'm gonna cut the potatoes in half lengthwise. Then we'll cut each half right down the middle and chop it into half inch pieces, which is two and a half centimeters. And the secret here, make sure all the potatoes are cut in the same size, that way they all cook evenly. Once all the potatoes have been cut, I'm gonna add them into a stock pot and fill it with some cold water. You wanna go to about half an inch above the potatoes, which is about 1.25 centimeters. We'll season generously with sea salt and heat it with a high heat. While the potatoes are cooking, let's make some hard boiled eggs. I'm gonna add in two eggs into a saucepan. And once again, fill it with some cold water and you wanna go to one inch above the eggs, which is about two and a half centimeters. And we'll heat it with a high heat. Once the water comes to a boil, I'm gonna place a lid on the saucepan and turn off the heat and we're gonna let our eggs sit there for exactly 12 minutes. This is gonna give us perfectly hard boiled eggs. All right, let's move back to the potatoes. It's been between 16 to 17 minutes since I turned on the heat and they should be perfectly cooked al dente, which means they're not mushy and they still have some texture. You know, you can always pierce them with a toothpick and if it easily goes in, but with some resistance, they are ready to go. Once again, you don't wanna overcook them, otherwise they're gonna get mushy and fall apart. I'm gonna remove the stock pot from the heat Drain the potatoes into a colander. And rinse them under some cold running water to stop them from cooking. Then we'll transfer our potatoes into a dishcloth, making sure that they're on a single layer. And then gently pat them completely dry. and then we'll transfer the potatoes into a large bowl. For the next ingredient, I'm gonna grab one spring onion. We're gonna be using the bulb and the green leaves. I'm gonna finely dice half of the bulb. And add it into the bowl with the potatoes. Then we'll finely chop the green leaves. and add a generous handful into the bowl with the potatoes and the onion. Moving on, I'm gonna roughly chop half of a red bell pepper. And add it into the bowl with the rest of the ingredients. And we'll do the exact same thing with half of a green bell pepper. For the next ingredient, I'm gonna roughly chop one large tomato. And once again, add it into the bowl with the rest of the ingredients. And finally, I'm gonna cut eight green pimento stuffed olives and eight black pitted olives, each one and a half lengthwise, and then add them into the bowl with the rest of the ingredients. Then we'll season everything generously with sea salt. 
and freshly cracked black pepper. Before we start mixing the potato salad, let's make a really quick yet super delicious homemade dressing. I'm going to add in half a cup of extra virgin olive oil into a bowl, which is 60 milliliters, along with one tablespoon of sherry vinegar, which is 15 milliliters. You can use whatever vinegar you like. And one teaspoon of lemon juice, which is 5 milliliters. We'll lightly season with a little sea salt and some freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give this a quick whisk, that way all the ingredients are evenly mixed together. Then we'll pour in our homemade dressing over the potato salad. And then we'll give it a gentle mix until all the ingredients are evenly mixed together. Once everything's well mixed, I'm going to transfer the potato salad into a serving dish. And for the final step, I'm going to grab our hard-boiled eggs and cut each one into four evenly sized pieces. We'll place the hard-boiled eggs over the potato salad And we'll sprinkle it with some freshly chopped parsley. Our Spanish peasant's potato salad is done. Such a beautiful presentation. Very easy to make, made with simple everyday ingredients. Let's give it a try and see how it tastes. Ensalada de patatas campesina. Here we go. It's absolutely delicious. The combination of all those vegetables, the potatoes are perfectly cooked. They kept their shape, but they melt in your mouth. But the beauty of this potato salad is that we didn't use mayonnaise. We made our own homemade dressing, which makes this super healthy. You saw this very easy to make. Try it at home and it promises to be your favorite potato salad this summer. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Jim Owens, Joan Kiliko and Tommy Williams. Again, guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on Fork. It's thanks to you and the rest of my patrons why Spain on Fork continues to move forward. If you're not a patron, consider becoming one. It really helps with ingredients and equipment to continue making videos like this. You'll find my patron link in the description box below and iCard above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below and if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.